Oh, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Night2727, and I present to you Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 4. Here is a recent clip that I have to do from theater because I was broadcasting at the time of this amazing, amazing level of destruction happened. So you already know me, I am going to be doing what it is that it is that I does and that's whoop the enemy team's ass just because. I'm here to end some lives and take some lives. So ladies and gentlemen, let's win this match, hashtag snatch. Alright, so I already disagree with that death. Um, sliding behind cover and I felt that he didn't do enough damage to kill me. Still, on PlayStation I feel that after only a few games of proving myself, everything else changed. I started off, you know, it wasn't bad, it was just a bunch of campers, but once I got too many kills and was embarrassing too many players, and this is pure embarrassment right here. One, two, made him miss, gave myself enough time, three, put him down, four, five, just taking them all out easily, sending the clones out there just to mess with their mindsets, give me enough time, boom, 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 still took out more. I'm that good. Here's a UAV. Bam, you know, triple killer, getting a whole bunch of stuff. Triple threat. Surveying the area, make sure I'm good. You know, if I'm gonna... The only thing I hate about care package is I gotta wait for it. When I could be out there getting more kills. So, I got something good. Which is basically an orbital V-set. Nowadays it has changed the name like it's something completely new. But I'm a core Black Ops player, so I refer to it as a, you know, orbital V-set. I like the old school days better. Um, I believe I put him out as well, but they have to give assistance to certain players in my opinion. I feel that once I'm way too accurate, too successful, I have a shutdown method where Treyarch actually shuts me down and I'm forced to take a comeback and it happens. It only happens when I have so much success early and you know, I have like over 10 kills or something like that with single digit deaths within like the first few minutes and then I'm not allowed to get kills for a while. And then I have to um, take a comeback. And you know, I know for a fact that's the case because it happens every single time and it never stops. You know, there's never been a game where I got over 10 kills and single digit deaths within the first few minutes where I was not shut down and not allowed to get kills. We're doing the same exact thing, but now bullets take more, 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 more to kill a target. So even with all of that, you know, they they can never stop me and hold me back. And especially on PlayStation, you have cowards like this running away completely. Fine, let me get safe. Oh, see somebody else. Cool. Would anybody else join me? You know, maybe he came back. Maybe that was him. Just to try to get a sneak on me because I already, you know, was just in an exchange. Um, the, the entire PlayStation 4 community camps. Every last single one of them. I have not played one game yet. And I'm already on like level 40 something. Not never prestige yet but you know still so far so many campers the xbox community is clearly better and playstation absolutely does not deserve to get the maps first because you know they they just sony just pays people off xbox is clearly better for call of duty clearly and it's not biased because i'm here playing both to to you know actually test it and um you know, they, they're so focused about graphics, they're literally just lying in the grass, just focused about graphics and occasionally pressing R2 to get a kill or something like that. I'm the only one really truly running around and hunting and getting my kills. Um, yeah, they, they had a challenge one day, it was like to win five games, that's impossible. To win five games? It sounds easy, but when you're, when you're this good, it's impossible. Alright, bam, through that, got him. Still ready for the follow up. Um, because of my highest score per minute, I get the lowest scoring players in every lobby on my team. They stack the other team with the highest scoring players minus myself, obviously, because I'm usually the highest, even over Master Prestige is over level 300, and I'm still ranked number one in those lobbies above those players. Um, so, you know, with that being said, when my two teams clash, my team will go negative, and look, I still have people like 3 and like 11 and stuff. You know, so I have to carry these teams, and if I can't get over 30 to 40 kills, we're going to lose. It's all 100% based upon me. If 
I enter a lobby and my score per minute is so high they have to drastically switch to teams in order to make it unfair for me so I cannot win. It's all designed around me. It sounds sounds cocky or conceited, but when you score per minute and you prove that you know you're the best, you'll see it. I mean I can still prove it. I can show how I get the lowest scoring players in the lobby. I can still bring up clips. I mean I've proved it on Xbox, Wii U, I can prove it on PlayStation. You know, it's the same game honestly. Honestly, it's the same thing. Bam, I'm getting more kills over like 30 kills. And, you know, the only times I'm really dying is when somebody just kind of picked me off after I already killed multiple people or something, you know. Nobody's really coming up in my face and out shooting me because before I even got all this fancy shit, uh, like the Wraith and all of that, I'm still out there destroying them. And you see me in there taking out multiple targets at the same time with no help from my team because I'm the one that can actually pull it off. Um, I feel like a lot of players get additional health, and they they have the ability to run from me. You know, look how look how many bullets it takes for me to kill a target in comparison to what it takes for them to kill me. He was obviously wounded, so that's cool. Uh, my Razorback, I finally got that unlocked, and it seems to be one of the few guns. I felt like the blue guy who ran, I shot him definitely more than when I shot his teammate, and he was able to run. I barely even shot his teammate, and he died. I already got a Wraith in the air, so I can't call another one, but I want the exact second that it's available to call another one to destroy him. Um, you know, you get two Wraiths in one game, you're gonna call it, and it's not a lot of time left, so I'd rather it be available the second it becomes available so I can do it. Um, I felt I killed him, and he used the one-hit kill, so he proved that I was better. Um, he shot me from behind, I turned around, turned on him, and basically killed him, so he needed that one hit killed to override all the damage I already applied to him, because he realized he would have never outshot me. PlayStation Camper right there, it gets embarrassed, and that's King Slayer for the opposite team, a camper. That's PlayStation for you. And then I still go on to get the final two kills, and killed him, but I was broadcasting, so I had to do this from theater, so it's a little, it was a little hard to capture that. Um... And then as you see right there, the winning circle, same game, same score, there you go. He doesn't deserve to dance because he did not do anything. Alright, so that's what happens when my Xbox self comes over to the PlayStation community. I destroy the entire community that Xbox is better and prove that I am the number one best for core team deathmatch, like it or not. Thanks for watching. Mwah.